I like the care cards. It's nice to write friendly messages to your friends and everyone around you. Just makes everyone feel better when they get to read them. This is our, our family's second year at Mission Week. The, the care cards are notes that we write to other campers and to some of the camp staff, and they can be especially uh, important and encouraging. I remember last year, my first year, I didn't take them very seriously. The last day I scrambled to uh, put together care cards for everyone and I just kind of wrote the same thing for, for every, everyone and stuffed them in, in, in the baskets. And then when I got home, I forget if it was on my way home or when I got home, and I started reading the care cards that people had written for me, I was just completely blown away. And I'm, I'm not a sentimental person, but I may have even cried. Uh, just the way some of these students, the things that they had to say, the things that they noticed as far as our interactions and the things that were going on. Things were funny, things were, were heartfelt, and uh, the care cards were one of the things that were the most important and, and special for me. So write your care cards. Hey guys, today we got a dog arrested by the cops today in Oak Hill. My name is Ruby and Hi guys, I'm Ryan from Central Schwankfelder Church. Welcome to Dolores' site. We are painting the walls of this house. So we replaced uh, one piece of a wall inside where the air conditioner was and then we painted over that white. Hi, I'm Andy Ramsey from Central Schwankfelder Church. We're here at the Miller property on Miller Road working on this house. We're, we're sort of building everything up from pretty much nothing. We're at the point where we're putting in windows, we're putting up some drywall and uh, eating popsicles. Some of the challenges uh, we've been having is uh, some of this work is pr pretty difficult for, for younger people. Once we have things safe, uh, getting the kids in there and, and getting them involved, they're, they're doing a good job. So today we were driving our way to the work site and we saw a dog like in the middle of the road. So we decided to call the cops and they got, handled the situation by resting the dog. You want to interview me, sir? What up, what up? I'm Jeremy from Central Swangfelder Church. I'm here at Becky Ingram's house today. Not that hot, but I have popsicles in my mouth. Um, follow me this way. So here at the house, we took the top half of the uh, bathtub off and the bottom half is still in there. Uh, it was just taking up too much room. We needed to get the rest of the subflooring in. And today we're hopefully gonna get uh, hook up the, the water system for them and their dry, sh dryer and shower so that um, they can get their clean clothes. The girls have uh, been working on the concrete to support the beam of the house in the basement. And um, right now we're just finishing up the subflooring. So Becky Ingram's house with these beams. Cool, <laughs> cool beams. beams. Not cool beams, cool beams. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eve Ramsey from Central Swankfelder Church and we're here at Elizabeth Hughes' house working on some projects. So right now we're painting the pillars green and last time the 
Christian Endeavor, people came, they painted like the whole house beige. So we were just adding some spice <laughs> to it by adding the green. <laughs> so then this gum like weird stuff was layers like on this like dorm frame and we had to like scrape it off with like a scraper. The concrete has arrived! The concrete has arrived! Right. I thought Doc's message was uh, very powerful. We've all been through ups and downs. To be able to face a bully or to be able to face whoever is uh, giving you struggles in life, to be able to look them in the eye and tell them that you forgive them is just a powerful, powerful thing. I thought Doc explained it really well. Jesus and God are constantly forgiving us uh, and how it can be very difficult for, for us to forgive people. As Christians, we really like to remember that God forgives us of our sins, right? 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And God says, I sent Jesus to die for you so that your sins are washed away. Then what does he say in the Lord's Prayer? Forgive us our, as we forgive those who sin against us. You mean I need to forgive people? If we're going to accept God's forgiveness for us, then we need to extend forgiveness to the people around us. I was a fan of Doc's message last night. I mean, it was nice to reflect on the true meaning of forgiveness and to forgive as he forgave us and putting, putting everything behind you, trying to, not trying to work over the past, just trying to see where you're with right now and look forward to the future. And that's what forgiveness is all about. I like the message. I mean, just the whole idea of forgiveness and the fact that we don't expect retribution. And I liked how he said, pray to God as well because like sometimes you might think just do it yourself and forgive someone, but God can help alleviate the pain. Most of us look at the wounds, look at the scars, look at the holes in our fence and we say, oh, that person changed the course of my life. That person ruined my life. That person ruined my relationship. And we want, to, we want some kind of restitution. We want some kind of reconciliation. Not thinking that the past can be any better, just getting over the past getting over the pain from what happened in the past and being able to think about the future. This has been an issue that I've dealt with my whole life and I was praying and I was angry as I often get with God when I think about this stuff. God said I needed to be forgiving without looking for anything from the people who had put nails in my fence. 